Hello. Look where I am. Thameside Nature Discovery Park. That's a mouthful, isn't it? This has been called everything, this place. It's basically in East Tilbury, uh, a place called Muckin. Sort of, how can I put it? It's just off the old A13, going towards East Tilbury and Coalhouse Fault. And it's an Essex Wildlife Trust place. It's a lovely spot, this. There's loads of bird life here. And I love it. Been it. Oh, there's a. Did you hear that? It's a ring neck parakeet. But it's lovely for a walk around here. There's loads of birds, loads of wildlife. You've got things like adders, lizards, all sorts of stuff. It's usually quite a bit spotted over here. I've been over here loads of times. My mum's cousin helped build the place, helped dig all the pits and gravel pits out and all that sort of stuff. And it was opened by Sir David Attenborough, no less. Wow, my hero. And I didn't find out about that until my son Connor sends me a picture of him sitting opposite my all-time flipping hero, Sir David Attenborough. So you can imagine, can't you? But we're just in the top car park, in the first car park, and it goes all the way down the Thames. It's a huge expanse of land. There's a visitor centre up the top there, which I might take you in another day. I don't think I want to go in there today, not too sure. But we stopped in this top, top car park, and I come out to blow the cobwebs away. Got so much to do indoors, we're doing loads of stuff. Got loads of stuff planned, I'm trying to sort out. Dog's got to go to the vets, he's going to go and get all his uh, jabs and get his travel passport. Well, it's not a passport anymore, it's travel paperwork. So I'm taking him there, he's got to have his jabs as well. So I thought I'd come out just for a little bit of a, a little bit of a wander today, blow the cobwebs away, give you a look round here, and see what we can see for a bit of excitement. Exciting bird watching. You know, I get excited about bird watching a lot, as you know, and bird photography. But some people are like, oh, how can you find bird watching exciting or photography exciting? Well, I'm going to flip and show you. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, this is going to be epic. It's going to be a bit of an experience. And I'm going to give you a look around. You wait till you see this. Right, so today I've got my cotton carrier rig on. This attaches your camera to your chest which is pretty good. It's really secure in there and you have to twist it and lift it to get it out. And also I've got it secured to this. So this leaves your hands free for your bird watch. And I'll put a link up to these cotton carrier things. You can get sort of different ones. Let's just put it that way. Basically copies off of eBay and I think Amazon and uh, they're a lot cheaper than the cotton carrier. The cotton carriers are really, really quite expensive, but as you can see, it's camo. Happy days. Right, let's get me other kit on, and I'll show you what I'm gonna get up to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at the flipping state of me. You're going, why have you got a flipping crash helmet on, JP, and you're going flipping bird watching, mate? Well, this is the reason. Look at that bad boy. Front double suspension, rear suspension, disc brakes, off-road tyres, and this is the iScooter iX5 off-road electric scooter. Look at that. Now it completely folds down. These pop in. Let me just do this one, Eddie. So they pop in, snap shut. It's key operated. That's the accelerator. They're the brakes. That's the lights. There's a front light, a back light, brake light, and also running lights along the bottom here that flash. So it's pretty safe. It all locks together. Got all these locking systems here. 
and I'm going to give you the good, the bad and the ugly about this. I'm not going to roll back, but I thought I'd give it a run. Now I'm over this wildlife place. It's not on the road, we're on footpaths. So I just thought, sod it, you know what? They, f they messaged me and said, do you want us to send you a 555 quid scooter? Now you can also put a seat on this. I'll put some pictures up. This is not gonna be a full review on it. I'm just gonna show you me having fun on it. You know, there's plenty of reviews on this online. But I thought I'd give it a purpose. Look at that. And that'd be handy to take away on holiday with us in the van. I think it's got a maximum of, uh, you can basically get two people on that. I've had m myself and my son on this and it still pulls. Bearing in mind my boy's about 16 stone, I've built like a tank. So, <laughs> let's give this a go. I can't wait, well excited. Ah. The only thing I don't like on this is these. This is plastic. This is not too bad, but this is plastic. And it looks a bit, if you was to stack it, I think all that would fall off. So, bear that in mind. I think they've got an upgraded version now, so I don't know if they've changed that. I'll have to have a look. And also, when I got it, these back bolts have got a bit of surface rust on them. Which, I've watched a few other reviews on these before I got it, just to see what it was like. And everyone says the same thing. Give it a go, eh? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Woo! Hoo! <laughs> First e scooter I've ever had. But off road, as you can see, proper tanks in. <laughs> oh god! I'm glad I got this crash helmet on. Blown the cobwebs away. That is so much fun. That is so much fun. I've got it set on speed three. It's got three speed settings, this thing. I'm glad I've got this cotton carrier on. So I'm gonna turn it down to one. I'm not a speed freak. I don't like speed. So we're just having a mooch around. Let's see what we can see now. It goes through gates pretty easy. You know them kissing gates? Because it's low, it goes through them pretty easily. But this is where we are. It's an absolute haven for wildlife. And I'm not going to go too far on this, but it's a lot of fun. They're on clearance at the moment, these things, for 555 quid, I think they are. And I think they're giving me a discount voucher. So I'm going to have to have a little look on my emails. And if there is one, I'll put it in the description below. But so far, I can't see any flipping downsides about this. I mean, I've just got down from the other side of that barn now in literally a minute. One of the downsides of this is it's flipping heavy. I mean, I can pick it up and get it in. I thought this would be ideal when we go away. I can fold it up, this folds down flat then this locks the 
handlebars into place. That locks the handlebars into place. But look at that. That's the charging point, comes with a charger. As I say, I'm not going to give you all the technical spec. I'll put that up and you can have a read of it yourself and have a little look. But there's plenty of reviews of this online and everyone says how fun they are. But I've got to say, it's a lot of fun. When you fold it down, you can lift it up by this handle. And on the front, it's got two little like roller skate wheels. But it's got a rear drum motor. It's well spectacular. That's your sort of speedometer there. You can't really see that. That's your speedometer. It tells you how far you go. There's a trip meter on it, and three settings, and a battery monitor. So we're going to have a little look down here. See what we can see. And if I don't get any bird photography done, I don't care. I'm having great fun. <laughs> Oof. What a laugh. Anyway, look at this baby. It's a slow worm. It's just pooing on me, which is a bit of a defense mechanism. Oh, I don't mind. But look at that. This is a legless lizard, believe it or not. Looks like it's had a towel nipped off at one point, because they can regenerate their tails. But look at that. How gorgeous is that? Little legless lizard. Slow work. Brilliant. Now we've got smooth snakes, grass snakes and adders. And slow worms all look very similar. But this is actually a legless lizard and not a snake. Non-venomous and it catches small insects like little spiders, slugs and little insects really. And that's what it eats. But look at him. Lovely. Happy days. I'm going to have to get this poo off me now. Oh, I could smell this as I come around the corner. This is lilac and it smells absolutely divine. Really beautiful. Look at all the bees around it. Now you can see that bees and hoverflies are all over that. Absolutely beautiful. And it smells amazing. Really lovely. I stopped here by this tree as there was like a flock of jay. There's about six or seven jays around here. Obviously they've all buggered off. The good thing about that is it goes like stink. It does about 25 mile an hour. It goes like stink. And also, it's quiet. It's really quiet. I'm well impressed with that. So this is where I wanted to show you. It's not far up that path, but that flipping scooter proper tanks it along. Is this little river here, so you can park up this little lake, sorry. So you can park up in that car park and walk along to here. And that's a little group of tufted ducks just flown off. But it's a really nice little spot this. Been here loads of times. I'll definitely be back. This is where I see the uh, cuckoo invading a reed warbler's nest. So I'll stick that up the top there, that video, because that is a bit special. I just wanted to bring you up here just for a little ride on the scooter. That's really pleasant. Lovely. Still got my nut cover on. Look at this. Cherry blossom. I don't know if you can see that, but this is absolutely heaving with bees and hoverflies. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. I just heard a peacock. There's a few along this little bit. That is so much fun. That's the first ice scooter I've had, but it's so much fun. And it just goes along these paths like nobody's business. 
don't like going up hills much in one or two but you whack it up onto three and it pulls you up a slope there's a certain gradient they like going up there's a certain gradient they don't like going up so you have to be a bit careful of that or you might end up pushing it but so far it's good fun Right on that scooter then. It's putter, isn't it? So that's the next day today. Well, come and show you the rest of it. So we parked where I parked when I was on the dream machine. So much fun. If you want to get one, links in the description below with all the links and stuff. I'll leave the links to the uh, uh where are we going? I'll leave the links to the website and YouTube stuff. But we're going over here today, look. I'm gonna take you for a look around here. Now it's supposed to have been 40 mile an hour gusts today. It's a bit windy, but it's supposed to be 40 mile an hour gusts and not very nice. But it ain't too bad. It's a bit breezy and a wee bit drizzly, but I ain't seen it does stuff to do. I've got to go to the butchers this afternoon, get some meat. And uh, yeah, I thought we'd bring for a little walk over here. So you get down to this bit here, we park down there by the entrance, get to this bit here, there's a big blue arrow there, look, you can't miss that. And this takes us through, off the road, down the footpath to the visitor centre. Now you have to keep your dogs on a lead round here, keep your dogs on a lead. There's ground nesting birds here now. And yeah, that means you, a little foo foo that does no wrong. Oh, green woodpeck has just flown off. But there's loads of skylarks over here and ground nesting birds, so you have to keep your dogs on the lead. I see that tree. Oh, we just had a green woodpecker take off, so that was obviously feeding on an ant's nest. They look like they're yellow meadow ants over here. These mounds will be yellow meadow ants and they like untouched soil. So, like pasture land basically. So I'm gonna walk up, show you around the visitor center, try not to get blown off the face of the earth, and see what we can see. Let's have a look, eh? Now these piles, over, oops, I missed it. These piles over here, for snakes and adders and other, uh, reptiles that like getting into rock piles. Their adders are on the decline mostly because we're destroying their habitat. So they're recreating the habitat. Over here you can see the visitor centre in the distance there. Sorry about this wind noise but it's windy. That's the visitor centre over there in front of where Sammy is. But this is a lovely wildlife reserve especially in the summertime. Raven sniffing every little pile of something. Come on. So we're gonna walk up to the visitor centre, way yonder. Show you in there, and then come back, and then I'm going to the butchers. So we're in a little dip, actually out the wind. We've got a lot of skylarks flying around us. And carrion crows. I don't know if you can see over there in the distance. There's the ducks over there, I think that's uh, the deep wolf. But you've got this lovely reed bed there, which you can walk round that way, and where that green mound is behind, you can walk along the back of it, and that's quite good for kingfishers over there. So we're heading down this path. And having a little look around, there's a lot of crows over here today. Right, put this mic on now, try to get rid of some of this wind. Who else hates wind? Have I ever told you I flipping hate wind? Drives me up the wall, especially when you're doing videos. So we've come through this little gate here because over here is like a little metal area, it's like a sluice gate. And quite often you'll see the kingfishers there. 
But in the summertime, when the insects are out, this is a wash with butterflies and dragonflies, this area. It's absolutely fantastic. You can see all the bramble coming up. Once the bramble flowers all start blooming on these bramble patches, there's loads of insect life over here. It's absolutely lovely. But we're just going to go and have a little look down here. Sometimes you see the kingfisher, but I want to show you down here anyway, just quickly. And then we're going to head back across the field through more wind. There's a little bit less wind down there. We're going down this bit of a dip, look. Oh, wind free. Also, we've seen the swallows over here sitting around on this fencing, which is really nice. But sometimes if you come and stand here, in that little bit down there, you'll see the kingfisher. I've even had him here, down here, on this fence, down here, and on that walkway, sitting there, because that's shallow of quite a lot there. And they like sitting on the edge and hunting. But we're not gonna go down that bit. That bit is superb down there. There's a lot of teasels down there, a lot of thistle heads. So in the autumn you get all the goldfinches and things like that. And during the summertime you'll get all the dragonflies flying across the path in that little area there. And that takes you right away down to the port basically. And in the port side, sometimes you get to see the peregrine falcons over that side of the reserve. We're just gonna head back up now into the wind. And uh, and over to the centre. Now I'm not sure if the centre's dog friendly. I'm not sure. I brought him over here before, but I don't think I've been in the centre with him. So we're gonna have a look. Coming up to the centre now. There we go. There's a great kiddies play park here. Really good. And there's the centre. There's a cafe in there. And a little shop. Which is pretty cool. Dog waste bin. I'll show you that, but it needs to clean. But you can walk around the outside of the centre. There's a our box there and there's a little hide over the back but we're gonna go and have a look in the centre I think that little roundhouse there is where they do a lot of little events for the kids and that but the centre as I said was opened by Sir David Attenborough it's pretty common cool, and you can get right up on the roof and look out right the way across that great big industrial area and also the Thames. And you do get, as I said, you do get peregrine falcons perched up on these, these container cranes here. Uh, well, that's no, what's this? Thameside doghouse. Flipping hell. I've been in a doghouse quite a few times. I don't know if you can take dogs in here. 
I shall go and have a look. But it's getting windy. No, no dogs allowed. Right. Centre. I think Sammy's in the doghouse, so that's what that is. And there's a little hide down there, down the bottom now. Yeah, it's well worth a visit. Essex Wildlife Trust. I think it's about £35 a year or something like that for an adult membership. It's starting to rain. There's the sign on the front. And Sammy and Raven are in the doghouse. Best flipping place to be at the moment. Right, let's get back. Loads of car parking spaces in this place. It's absolutely packed in that visitor centre. But we're walking back down the road. Don't think it matters which way we walk, we're going to get buffeted about by the wind. At least the old Skylarks are singing. At least they're happy. indoors with a bag full of meat oh what a snotty day started raining the wind started getting up it's going to be horrendous today apparently as you saying that the sun's come out what's going on with this weather for christ's sake flipping hell i was going to get out with a friend of mine today and go and do some birding and then get the video up tomorrow for you while you're watching this today does that make sense but obviously the weather's not too sh shabby today but tomorrow is going to be all right the wind's dropping tomorrow so we're going to get out to a couple of places i've not been to before i've been to one place once but uh not done a lot there just had a little walk around but i'm going out with my mate steve who's a professional photographer. We're going to have a mooch around and you'll be seeing that hopefully on Sunday. And I've been keeping an eye on some of these areas and there's some really lovely birds over there that I want to go and see that have been seen and I've seen some photographs. So I've been keeping an eye on the area and they've got Facebook pages. I've been keeping an eye on the area and seeing what birds are there. Now, there's some lovely birds there at the moment, so I'm hoping that we see those. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you ain't subscribed, get over there and flipping it that red subscribe thing and tickle my bell. That little bell, press that so you get notifications when my videos come up. And leave a comment. I love your comments. Look at me books, look. They're my pride and joy, them books. I might go through them one day and show you my books. They're all pretty much reference books. This is like my little corner here. I love this little corner. I sort of sit here and do my videos and all that sort of stuff when I'm not in a van. Raven's asleep over there, look. So, yeah, anyway, I digress, which I usually do anyway, don't I? I hope you like that bit of scootering. Oh! It was well flipping fun that was. I love that. That's brilliant. As I say, it does weigh a bit, but you can get me and Sammy on it. And um, we can give Raven a run on it, can't we? Hold the lead and that. It, it's really good. Right, good fun. I'll leave all the links in, in the description below for that, so you can have a look at that. 
but I thought I'd show you it. And I found a slow worm. Oh, I love slow worms. They're flipping lovely. So you take care. You stay safe. You stay sane. There's a video coming up soon as well about the mind money. I've got a nice wad of money that all you flipping lovely lot have helped me raise. That's going to help people with poor mental health. They're on the road to recovery and get them on the road to recovery. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that one. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. We've got some good stuff coming up as well. We're off next month somewhere pucker and I can't flip him wait. And then after that, we're out in Gladys. Got some jobs to be done on Gladys. Some big uh, major jobs. Not because she's got a problem, but because I want them fitted to help us out when we go on our travels. But when that's done, I'm off. So expect some pucker stuff coming up. Anyway, you look after yourselves, eh? Take care. Look after each other. Love to you all. Bye.